Hello guys, Silver Butterflies here. Today I'm gonna review a few perfumes for summer evening. Uh, it's a few perfumes at my desk here and uh, it's not all I have what I would recommend for the evening. But this precise one, I thought it's just good for the nowadays according to my taste. So here we go. I was talking about Madame by Jean Paul Gaultier. It's a lovely, lovely perfume. When it was uh, issued, uh, I didn't appreciate it as much. I thought back then it was too aggressive to me, too much, uh, too loud. But now, compared to nowadays perfumes, it's exactly what it is. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. It's lovely rose ambery rose with a sexy uh, twist I highly recommend to find it somewhere to smell at least if you find it to buy it I think it's worthwhile to buy because it's uh, I think it's gone from the shelves and it would be nice to find some kind of gem which is almost gone and you find it like a um, hunter oh. This hunting thing is like something else. Uh, tell me, guys, about your hunting uh, problems. How are you hunting, hunting for your uh, perfumes? Or maybe it's just additional topic for conversation. But we are going further. Another one is uh, Jean Paul Gaultier. Where is it? Here. It's uh, Jean Paul Gaultier in two progression. This is very dark, ambery rose, very sexy. Uh, it's definitely to go out somewhere in a nightclub or maybe a Porsche restaurant. This one, someone told me that is magnets. You can put it on your uh, fridge, but I'm afraid what if it drops? <laughs> it will be smelling all year or more. I like it. I think it's a, like white uh, to be rosy rose with amber and undertone. Love it. And again, when I bought it long ago, I thought it's too much for me, too loud. It stayed on my shelf for a long time until I found out that it's exactly what is the doctor ordered right now, 2019. So. This one is modern. So my daughter is uh, sniffing in the other room because I put conditioner. Um, I have to go to her, ask what's going on. So this one is uh, Story Veneziale. It's like Audi Rose. Everybody said that uh, Oud out is going out of fashion, but uh, it's still going on in a different variation. And this one, precisely, is very strong, um, very unusual, very evening, very just too distinct of yourself, like to uh, declare of yourself perfume. And I start using it. I like it for this kind of events. Here's the whole thing I have. One sec. I told you about it. It's an uh, old niche uh, store in Veneziale, and they have the green one I talk about, and Alexandri, the purple one. This is the rosa one, which is I was talking about. There's the pink berries and damask road. This is uh, Gaggia Medio. This is also one uh, good, but I will tell another topic about what I'm thinking. Blue Cabalto, and this all of the above. They're all good in its own right. I like this one so far for going out. Next is gonna be Emblem of uh, Mont Blanc. It's very modern perfume. It's uh, ambery again, dark, with a little sour uh, rose uh, undertone. It's very modern. It's very like girly girly perfume 
for night out girls night out I would say and I like the bottle itself I'm that kind of person for me it's not just enough that the liquids is good like the juice I also the bottle aficionado the prettier bottle <laughs> the more I sold out you know what I mean I like to be uh, touching uh, bottles and have some uh, pleasure out of it I like glass another one is uh, X Idolo Rider oops this is the bottle and this is the box I cherish it it's like a rose dipped in cognac and uh, expensive drink it's very drunk rose with uh, a little bit of um, incense with a little bit of smoky undertones I kind of uh, cherish it I try to economize it on the other hand uh, I like it so much and I keep it only for the very 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 special occasions here is uh, Luciana Soprani Donna um, this is I would say it's a uh, old school but I love old school and I uh, old school uh, advocate because I like uh, to talk about old school too bad it's going out of fashion but not in my heart and I want uh, to tell more about it to someone who is interested in perfumes because not everything about old uh, school is is bad it's actually good very good and it's a lesson for future perfumers to get back to this to get back to the reference and smelling this very siyaji uh, uh, rose it's such a good siyaj and undertones and when you go everybody asking you oh what is this what you wearing today on top of it, it's very very sexy to my opinion and the final touch would be black excess it's it's very it perfume it's like sexy thing sexy thing um, for girls for women for uh, people who appreciate dark berries and um, like maybe raspberries or dark berries all packed inside uh, to uh, um, define your sexiness when you go out you have to declare about yourself and this is like your declaration uh, to be bold uh, to be sexy and to be it girl so this is perfume in my opinion uh, for going out uh, to be nightclub or very posh restaurant when you're gonna meet a lot of uh, men and maybe find someone for yourself so I wish you all the best uh, enjoy your summer go out the most important thing use your perfumes don't just show it from your shelves and sniff it by yourself in a silent room. Uh, find excuse to go out and about and life is good. Use perfumes for life. And that would be message for today. All the best for you guys. I'm your silver butterfly. Bye for now. More later.